Well, hello there, my friend Jonathan Doyle with you once again. If you are just checking out this video, you need to go back two days because it's a three-day sequence on leadership and self-leadership, and this is the final day. So you might want to go back and check previous videos, leadership part one, part two, whatever we called them, because that'll give you the framework. Listen, quick summary for those that have been with me for these three days. We've talked about self-leadership. Self-leadership is where the game is at. Leadership is influence. How do we know leadership has happened? Influence has happened. What is influence? Something has changed. Yesterday, we talked about what determines the kind of influence. Well, the kind of influence is determined by the character. And finally, the big session for today. If this is all true, if leadership is influence and influence is character, we want to know what determines character. And the answer is this. Character equals choices. Character is determined by choices. The choices and decisions that we make shape our character. That's how it works. So the story I share with people is that Aristotle, the great philosopher, was once asked, how do courageous people become courageous? It's a really interesting question because the Greeks weren't sure whether like Zeus made them courageous or they became courageous some other way. And Aristotle famously said, well, it's simple. The courageous person simply does courageous things things. So this was a big departure because before Aristotle, everybody thought the gods just made people a certain way. And if you were a great, strong hero or courageous, it was simply because God had made you that way or the gods had made you that way. Aristotle goes, no, you become what you do. Isn't that amazing? Like he said, you become what you do. He, he famously, Aristotle said, excellence, therefore, excellence in our lives, he said, is a habit. We become excellent by doing excellent things over and over and over and over again. So let's put all this together. Self-leadership is the foundation. We want to lead ourselves before we lead others. Leadership is influence. What's influence? Influence is change. What determines the kind of influence or change? Our character. What determines our character is our choices. Example, if you are somebody who is not particularly honest all the time, if you keep telling lies, eventually everybody that knows you will say, oh, don't trust them because they are a liar. If you are somebody who's always encouraging people, you're always positive, you're saying kind things to people, you, you say, hey, you're amazing. I just saw what you did. You could do even better. If you constantly encourage people, if you choose by your free will to become an encourager, eventually you become an encourager. You become what you do. So can I offer you the idea that if you're in any way concerned about global issues like war, whatever, pick your economics, race, whatever it is that you're really concerned about, how is it not possible that whatever you're not pleased with is a result of some form of leadership? And whatever that leadership is, well, the problem with it is that it's being done by humans whose character may be problematic. So we don't get a chance necessarily to fix the character of global leaders, but we do get a chance to fix our own character. I am really into this journey at the moment. I'm thinking about it a lot. I'm writing about it a lot. I'm speaking about it a lot. I'm putting my own hand up and saying, I got to work on my character. You know, for many years, I used to say to audiences that, you know, character is what happens when no one else is looking. The greatest battles that we fight with character usually don't have an audience. I like to say that they don't have an audience. So it's hard work and we got to get committed to it and we've got to ask God for help. We've got to pray. We've got to get grace to help us because we just, you know, if it was simply a case of us just all trying harder, then you'd think we would have figured it out. But there's obviously a spiritual component here that we need to think about. All right. I hope that's useful. Three-day blast on leadership. But if I just left you with one big idea, it'd be get in the game of self-leadership. Self-leadership is where it is at. And then finally, work on the character piece by paying attention to your choices. All right, you want to book me to speak? It's under here. You can check out my website. The website is awesome. Everything you need to know about me is there. Instagram, at Jdoyle Speaks. Please make sure you've subscribed. Share this video with some people. But for now, my name is Jonathan Doyle. You and I are going to talk again tomorrow.